Viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Hey fellas, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Got a haircut. It was long due, overdue for a haircut. What do you guys think? Hope everyone's doing well. Happy New Year. I really appreciate you guys' support. I really do. Thank you. This is the evening chain with me. I just got out of work a couple hours ago. Went straight after the... Uh, after work, straight to the barber shop to get my hair cut because I needed it. And uh, I just got out of the shower, so my skin is nice, hydrated, ready to go for the shave. I wanted to do this right now so I don't have to do it in the morning. Cheers, everyone. Today's shave will feature with this soap here Zangari Man. Seagull shaving soap. And this is called the Wonder Barbershop scent. And this comes in five ounces of soap. Side label here. Let me take a pause and look at that. I've had this in my den for about a month. I'm just barely getting into it right now. But I never tried anything from Zungari Man. It's the first time. I'm the artisan behind Zungari, man. Zungari means Italian, another word for Italian. The artisan's name is Heather Milton. Is the artisan behind the amazing products here at Zungari. With several years of experience formulating and creating highly sought after skin treat treatments, lotions, creams for hydrating and daily skin care. Zungari so has successfully branded itself as having some of the top rated shaving artisan products on the market. Heather takes pr great pride in her work and extensive research, testing, and improving methods to ensure the best shaves will be a result of her top shelf products. So Heather is certified cosmetic formulator through the handcrafted soap and cosmetic guide as well. Zungari so only offers products in which have been proven to work and are believed in and trusted by many. We strive to be the best in offering the skin care we all deserve and need. We hope you find something to make your skin care a pleasurable and healthier experience and let us know if we can help you on your journey to healthier, healthier skin or, or wet shaving. Values and benefits working towards utility and acceptance by respecting different cultures, traditions, and lifestyles. That's just a little description from uh, Songari man and what she's about. This is a tallow based soap with added ingredients, of added ingredients, of course, and added milks, which is goat's milk. And uh, I'm gonna read the, the, the ingredients for you guys. Ingredients, stearic acid, vegetable glycerin, beef tallow, shea butter, potassium hydroxide, castor oil, palm oil, sodium hydroxide, fragrance, Jehovah oil, oat barn oil, shea butter, and glycerol, rosinate, olive oil, unsuppossified, coconut oil, Dilikin seed extract, goat's milk, coconut's milk, and sodium lactate. And this is made in In Innsville, IN. I don't know what that's what state that's in. And you can find her at uh, www.zangariman.com. You can also find her on uh, westcoastshaving.com.
give me a second while I get the set notes for you guys. And the reason why this is called the wonder, we are calling this the wonder because the pride of uplifting feeling you get after being manicured and trim up, trimmed up and polished and made Donbar Dabinair again by the a barber after wandering to become a well-kept wanderer once again. The scent notes found in this make this really stick out are a muscular blend of bergamot, citrus, oak moss, basil, and patchouli. You will find this to be clean, crisp, refreshing right there playing in your head of a high-end barber about to work their magic. And if you are a fan of barbershop scents, this is not to be missed. Man up. Feel good and smell fresh with our wanderer. Yeah, guys, this is a really uh, fresh scent, as I as I described. It's a really fresh, crisp barbershop scent. That's what I get from my nose. This is my second time using it. I have used it before when I first got it, but I'm going to be using it now, of course, on camera. And if you guys ever smelled... um. Give me a second. Shaver Heaven. So I have the Shaver Heaven soap here. It smells exactly like Shaver Heaven's uh, Barbershop. And uh, the other one too. London Barbershop from uh, Maggard's. It smells exactly like this as well. So if you guys have those scents, this, uh, the Wonder smells exactly like that right here. Just letting you guys know, just in case you guys are wondering what it smells like. I smell all three pucks and they all smell the same. Just like just I like thought I'd throw that at you guys, just in case you guys are wondering. I like to give as much as information as I can. That's why I take a little bit longer in my videos to explain to you guys about the artisan and about the soap and I do the best I can. I hope you guys appreciate it. Thank you very much for your support. It really means a lot to me. Since I got a haircut and all, and I'm using a barber shop scent, I decided to go with my barber pole brush here. And this is from uh, Haircut and Shape Co. Company, my man AJ from Maryland, California. This is logo right there. It's upside down, the logo. And this has a uh, tuxedo knot, 26 millimeter, very soft knot. Great knot there. I'm planning to uh, re-knot this in the future with the badger. Like I was explaining earlier, I just got out of the shower, so my face is nice, high, ready to go. Let me wet my knot. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's having a, a great New Year's, uh, New Year's, uh, a New Year's. Hope you guys are having a great one. Starting off the new year. Just a couple days going in in this month, January. My towel. <sighs> scent strength off the puck, I would say is a medium, uh, medium strong scent. I'd say about a seven scent strength. It's a really nice scent. Barbershop. This is what barbershop uh, is. Great barbershop scent. This soap is very soap. Uh, this soap, this, excuse me, tongue twisted there. This soap is very soft. So be careful and cautious how you load this soap base here because it's extremely soft. I when I first loaded it with my with my uh, the first time I used I used it I noticed that I went too hard on loading and I overloaded the brush. So be careful on how you guys load the brush because it sticks to your brush, of course, but you can get a lot on there if you're not careful. Very soft soap. I noticed I way overloaded the first time I used it. And you don't need very much with this soap base. A little, somewhat small load does the trick. Does the uh, the trick? It's plenty. I'm gonna go that with that there right there. You'll see that it's enough. Let me 
uh, put this up. A little late to the party with this soap. I apologize, guys. I just have used it once, like I was mentioning, uh, off camera. But it's time to use it on, on film so you guys can see how great of a soap this is. Had very great results first time I used it. I got a couple days on the on the face growth. About I say about two two days growth. Put this label away. I already started that out on the face. First go with any uh, Zongari product. This is the first soap I've had. I've gotten from Zongari. I never tried a vegan base. But I've heard and seen great reviews on the vegan base as well. This is a really easy lather. Uh, a really easy soap to uh, lather on the face. doesn't take very much like I was explaining I got a great lather already on the face right there and I can just smooth it out and shave with it with just that but I'm not going to I'm going to keep going just adding more water to my knot let me tell you guys this soap can take water so don't be afraid on adding water to this soap base here because it loves it it loves the water I got a thick lather already on there. I didn't water one more time. See that beautiful sheen on the soap there? It's hard to pick up with this camera here. I'm letting you guys know that it has a very nice glossy sheen to the soap. It looks very nice. Very, very, very nice. Oh, almost in my eyeball there. I want that. Consider this a medium structure lather. Which is great in my opinion. All right, I got enough there. And the scent stays medium strong while lathering on the face it's great it's a great scent it's a great scent strength on the soap i'm going to be using my max brecker blue power scales mayor finish on the blade max brecker from las vegas nevada this is a 88 barber's notch forgot what kind of hollow that is but if you guys are, in, are, are straight razor shavers, shavers, you would know what hollow that is. Appreciate this razor very much. It's one of my high-end razors that I have in my den. The only high-end razor that I have. That was very expensive. Pass one with the grain. With the wonder from Zangari Man. Barbershop scent.
It was awesome. I'll be very careful because I got a pimple right there that I saw at work today. There's the sucker right there. That lather is very thick. Very cushiony lather. We got leather, guys. I'm telling you, it's very thick. Great protection. Protection is great on the soap. I don't use this, ra this razor very much like I'd like to. I need to start using it way more. I don't reach for it as much. I need to though, because it shaves. It shaves great. Shout out to my brother, Kai Triska. That's who I got this razor from. Kai Triska. It took a while for me to pay him off because I couldn't pay him off all of it at once. But I did end up selling a lot of my high-end razors that I have in my, my den. I had a timeless, I had two timeless razors. I had a uh, Rex Ambassador that I sold to Rafa at uh, Chicano Designs. I had a Wolfman a Gorilla that I got rid of as well that uh, my brother Arthur bought. He had bought that one in the uh, he bought my Gorilla and my Timeless Barber Pole Razor, which was an aggressive sucker. It was, I believe, a 6.8 gap. It was a polished head with a Barber Pole handle. The sleekness, guys, on the soap is incredible. I rate the sleekness a 10. That's how sleek the soap is. This slickness is unreal. I remember last time I used it, I had to keep uh, keep rinsing off because uh, uh, it just feels so slick, so slick. And that's not a lie. Pass two in my brush. It's plenty there, plenty of and more. What I more, I mean, plenty of, of soap here left for what I need it for. For my second pass. So remember guys, just load just lightly on your brush. You'll you'll be able to see when it's uh 
the lather is nice and pasty through the bristles. That's when you know you lathered enough. But be careful how you load because you could overload big time with this soap base. Let me add more water. This soap can drink a lot of water. Don't be afraid to add water to it. You will not break down the lather. It gets better when you give it more lather. Water, I mean. The lather gets better when you add more water. And the scent stays on there, medium scent, medium strong. Which I appreciate that very much. I like it to last through my whole shave. And this is what this does. It lasts throughout the whole shave. Let me clean up some here. That's a very great lather right there. I hope you guys can see that sheen on, on the lather. It's beautiful. I was so impressed when I used this soap for the first time. Pass two against the green. I heard that uh, Zingari Man bombs are also elite. Ooh, I think I went over that pimple there. If I did, oh well. It's all good. Very, very rinses, rinses very clean off the blade as you can see that. There's no lather whatsoever on that blade. Comes right off when you, when you rinse it. Poche feel, elite guys, and I mean that very much.
sitting in my razor there very gently. Oh yeah, that feels phenomenal. The soap base is outstanding in all categories. From the cushion, the slickness is elite guys, very elite. Like I said, a 10. I give it a 10 for my rating, for El Chingon rating, 10. I got some stubble there, and I'm not gonna relather just to show you guys that you can buff with this soap here. I got some stubble right here in this area. You can see that here. My face is feeling very hydrated, very smooth, very soft, very moisturized. You don't need no after no aftershave for this soap here. That feels great. <laughs> Chingon. Two bash two two pass shave with my straight from uh, Max Breckers. All I need for baby butt smooth shave. Got a weeper there. But trust me, guys, I got a baby butt smooth shave. <laughs> That felt awesome. Today's soap featured Zangari Man from Heather Milton at Zangari Man. And this is the Wonder uh, uh, the Wonder Barbershop scent and the Seagull Shaving Soap Formula. Outstanding. <laughs> Phenomenal. Amazing. Is what this soap is. So what I'm experimenting twice that I've used it. I'm real happy with the soap. I don't know why I didn't use it sooner when I got it. But thank you guys. I really appreciate it very much. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Much love and respect goes to everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support. It really means a lot to me. Lathered my lather with my barber pool, uh, hair con shaco shaving brush with the tuxedo knot on there, 26 millimeter, very soft knot, created a great lather. This brush never lets me down. Let me wipe my blade here so you guys can see the blade one more time. Very beautiful blade from uh, Max Brecker, Las Vegas, Nevada is where he lives, where he's from. And these are blue powwow scales. If you guys can see those scales, the camera never does justice for these uh, the scales or brushes. I'm telling you guys, you have to see this in person to appreciate the work that uh, Max does. But it is a great razor right here. Very expensive, but it's an elite razor. It's high end, and uh, I appreciate it very much. That's why I don't use it very much on my uh, videos, but I need to. But as you guys noticed, I have it in my intro because it's a badass razor. <laughs> Thanks to Kai Triska for giving me the opportunity to own this razor here. Like I was mentioning, I sold almost all my razors, my high-end razors to get this Sprecher here. And some, uh, I had to save some money as well on the side to give to Kai to complete the uh, purchase of the razor. Damn weeper. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to be topping it off with fine aftershave. And this is uh, inspired from uh, Reef Gosh, Reef, Reef, Reef Gush or Reef Gosh Perhum. And it smells great. That scent's uh, discontinued. It's no longer available. But this is a, a great, I never smelled it, but this this stuff here smells great, guys. This, oh, this, it smells like a high-end cologne, this American blend right here from Pine. I'm telling you. Ah. Oh. Pairs very nicely with the soap here. Wonder. Getting enough of this. Enough of it so I can smell good all night.
Oh, yeah. Awesome shave. Oh, that menthol feels great. That's one thing about the uh, fine aftershaves. They uh, contain menthol. Not very uh, a gr uh, great ingredient list, but contains uh, water, menthol, water, and uh, alcohol, water, fragrance, and menthol. But I'm telling you guys, the, the, the fragrance oils that they use on their aftershaves, they last quite a while. And they feel great on the face. Even though it has uh, a short ingredient list. But the scent stays on you all day. And that's what I love about these aftershaves. Because they got cement on and the great scent. Uh, it stays, the scent stays on your skin all day. They've gone up on price. I remember they used to be 15 bucks. Now they're 20 bucks. And they have that's the older uh, bottle there. But they have them in the square bottles now. Which I'm not a fan of the new bottle. Probably what I'll do is keep the older bottle. And uh, just refill it. And pour it in the new oil bottle because I don't like those big bulky, uh, <laughs> the big bulky uh, aftershaves. The new design from Fine, I don't like. I'm not a fan of them. I like the old this this style right here, the classic one. It's a great scent right there. Thank you guys very much. I highly recommend Zangari Man. It's a Chingon approved. It it, it uh it gets the El Chingon seal of approval right there. <laughs> Highly recommend you guys try this base here. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support. God bless you all. Take care and see you soon again for another shave. Mendez El Chingon, Chicano Shaver, says goodnight.